Today I have the Tarte Unleashed palette, which I think is really cute. I do have some thoughts, also I'm going to show you some swatches and a mini tutorial, so if you're interested, just keep on watching. Hola mi gente, it's Mariluz here and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post every Friday either makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, or any other makeup related content to help you on your makeup journey. And in today's video, I'm so excited to show you and talk about the drum roll please <laughs> it's the tarte unleashed palette oh my goodness it is so beautiful do i have more than enough palettes yes did i take that into consideration when i got this one no duh i mean i think i'm a sucker for packaging and i thought this was beautiful so i had to pick it up um i also like the color story i'll show you in a minute but look at this. Now there's a few things that I want to say about this palette, so let's get right into this video. So first I'm gonna talk about packaging, pricing. I'm gonna show you some swatches. I'm gonna tell you how I accomplished this look, like a mini tutorial, and I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on the palette. So first things first, this palette costs $39 and I love the packaging. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like a 3D effect on the front. I have looked at Instagram posts about Tarte with the palette and everything, but I feel like I missed the fact that it has like a 3D packaging. So that took me by surprise and I feel like it is a really nice effect and a really nice detail to the palette. I like the color. It has like a nice blue, like aqua blue, green kind of color with the hot pink. And I don't know. I'm really digging it. On the back is like a really hot pink and very reflective. Like you can see me there. Hey, girl. <laughs> it does have a lot of fingerprints, so sorry about that. But it's a little bulky. Now, if you want to compare it with the Tarte's Pro Palette, I think this was the last palette I bought from Tarte. It is similar, so... I don't know. If I'm being honest, I really don't care about the bulky packaging, but I have noticed that for the last palette releases that I've had, um, it's not as bulky as this one. It's not heavy heavy, but it has some weight to it, but it does feel really sturdy, so I do like that. Now, in terms of the inside of the palette, it comes with 15 shades seven masks and eight shimmers and it does come with a mirror i do like how they built this one because i feel like it has enough mats and it does have enough shimmers and the pants are a little big or at least they seem a little big to me like it did take me by surprise so here's my finger for reference and that's how big the the pan looks when i looked at it on pictures and even at the old tail website where i got it from it didn't seem this big, but I don't know. It took me a little bit by surprise. I love the names of the shadows. I do believe they're adorable and very on par with Tarte's branding. I mean, they're so well known for like that Amazonian kind of vibe. And I think these names follow that, but they did it in a cute way because I feel like they're more like puns to me. I did pick it up at Ulta, but they also sell it at Sephora and at the Tarte website. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then what I really liked also also is that it also came with a travel size mascara so I think for $39 is not too bad this is the Tarte Big Ego mascara and it is pretty nice I did apply it today and I really enjoyed it so I do really quickly want to show you some swatches I'm gonna start with the first row and on the first row we have Swan Song, Oh Dear, Hypercritical, Bare Necessities, and Qualified <laughs> I thought that was so cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a dork. I know. I do think the mattes are really buttery and the shimmers on this row are really nice. These are the shades that I used to do my look today. The bare necessities can be a little patchy at some point. But nothing that I can't work on. But overall, I did like the pigmentation. I don't know if you can tell, but even the first shade, Swan Song, came on my skin tone. And I feel like that's really nice. Okay, so on the second row, we have... To can't do it. <laughs> no fucks given. I'm sorry. I'm having so much fun with these names. Iguana love you. Irrelevant and totally. And then same thing with the mattes. The mattes were really buttery and the shimmers were really nice. Very buttery too. I do think they perform a lot better with the finger um, instead of using a brush. And then on the third row we have your lion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sorry. Let me call my panties here. Monkey business. Camouflage or camouflage. 
Hawkward and Party Animal. And then overall, these shimmers and mattes are really buttery, except Party Animal. I did want to touch on that. It is a little glittery and it has a lot of fallout. I have tested it and I tried to do a look with it. I'm still testing it. So if you're interested in seeing another look with this palette, utilizing these blues, let me know in the comments and maybe, you know, two or three videos down the road, I am able to do that. That's the only complaint I have. I feel like the texture is really similar to the Dose of Colors palette. I don't know if you've seen that palette or if you have tried it um, but it's very glittery it is very pigmented and i do love the pigmentation i'm not a fan of the glitter fallout but i do believe this color does make the palette and it mixes well with other shades so i don't know i'm gonna keep testing it though so if you guys want like an update let me know as well but overall this palette has me really excited i do think you can do like a really nice glam look but also an everyday look which i enjoy today i did like a really more everyday look i'm actually going on a date night with my husband we're going to watch the spider-man movie for the second time it's my day off and it is a tuesday and on tuesdays they have a sale like a buy one get one let me know if you have seen the spider-man movie because i thought it was amazing i loved it and i want to see it again <laughs> If you haven't watched it yet, stay till the credits because they do have two after credits, just so you know. But anyways, I did film this look, so I'm going to show you now how I created this look. And here's the final look. Now for my overall thoughts about this palette, I'm not going to tell you that you need it because it is not a bare necessity. <laughs> I do think it's a really cute palette. So if you don't have colors like these, you know, like the warms and the pinks, um, even the blues, I would recommend it to you. But if these are colors that you already have on your collection, I mean, why would you spend $39, right? You could probably save it on gas, to be honest. Now, if you're a collector like me, just run and get it because this packaging is like revolutionary. <laughs> I mean, it's not, but you know what I mean. I don't have a palette that has like this 3D effect and I think this is completely beautiful. It takes me to my childhood and I'm a kid at heart, so yeah. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to know more about this palette. I will keep testing it out. 
and if you want to update let me know as well so far i'm really pleased with the palette um they blended really nicely i was able to accomplish an everyday look and i'm an everyday girl for the most part now if you want to see more from this channel i'm gonna leave you two videos right here so you can check them out and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button that way you get notified every time i upload thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in a bit